work, 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 work. The first kiss that you gave Jared. Hey. Yesterday I heard that it would be a day of rest and I was like, no, I'm going to work today. But it was a day of rest. As you know, from yesterday's video, you heard that I didn't have any students, so I rested. And today I heard today was a day of work and I'm like, oh, no, no it's not. <laughs> I'm not working today. I'm, I am working, you know, we work for Jesus, but it's gonna be kind of a slow day, but he says it's a day of work, and I believe him because yesterday he was right, so right. I'm going in prepared to work. I don't want to work, but I will work joyfully because he's prepared me. If he hadn't have prepared me, I would have been mad about it because I don't want to work today. You know what I mean? I know totally what you mean. <laughs> as soon as you said it's a day of work, I was like, oh. oh wow. Okay. I think I heard wrong on that one. She's she's doubting herself. I guarantee we're gonna do work today. Gonna do work, son. Do work. I I ran Jesse's car up on the curb. You know when you're parking and they've got like a little parking curb? Her car's so low. If you go too far forward, it goes and this happened. Don't wreck my car. Rector car. I told him I can't be held accountable for anything I'm saying right now because I haven't had coffee. Luckily for her, we're at Peacocks. We're gonna Peacocks! Meet, we're gonna meet James and the Degraw and Jason Fogle. And we're gonna have some, I'm gonna have kibbles and bits and maybe some flapjacks. What are you gonna have? I've been literally dreaming about a breakfast burrito. Quite literally. She was talking about it all the way into all town. All the way into town. How am I not a fat kid? Metabolism. Diana, I am Another in a to hear we're going to Walmart and I want to sing it where there's a smile on every aisle sing it. Uh, I've never heard this song in my life but apparently when you go to Walmart there's a smile on every aisle Walmart there's a smile on every aisle la, 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 la. After however many years I've been alive and going to Walmart, we won't mention how many that is. I would, just now no realize no what that means. Thirty. There's literally a smile face on every aisle. The round yellow smile. I thought they were talking about me. Like I go to every aisle and I smile. <laughs> Did you know what they meant? I've never heard this song. Oh. It's an actual song? We should Google it. It's an actual song? I'm gonna Google it. No. Walmart. Stop it. Walmart. Smile. Where are we going? Walmart. Where? Walmart. And why are we going to Walmart? We have to get Kitty Kate a birthday present. And I need to take this back. Hey. Kitty Kate, I know you watch our videos, so we cannot video that portion of it because it's a surprise. It's a surprise for your birthday. We'll take this back. What is this? I bought it for Jared. I do not like it. They they made it too small. <laughs> they made it too small. They've been doing that a lot lately. I didn't even washed it. Usually it's the washer that shrinks all of my clothing. But this one was just made too small. Made too small. I need to stop doing that. They like, there's been this mad rush of designers and retailers, that's the word I'm looking for, retailers who have been making my size, the size that I normally wear, except smaller, like all of them. It's a plague. 
we can figure this out. What are you laughing about? You? You're what? You're funny to me. What did I do? Okay, so I was telling Jared, can I get serious for a second? Sure, if you want. I was telling Jared that um, I feel like the word this morning that today was the day of work had come true. And because we went to Peacocks this morning, we had our staff meeting there, and it, it's not really work because it's fun, but it is work. And I think basically the point is God's redefining what work is to me. Uh, I used to think that work was like, I work at the junior college, I teach, and that's my job, and then I do the preacher's wife thing full time, but kind of on the side, and I don't get paid and all that. But I think he's redefining work is like... If it was you... <laughs> Jared edits, and the map colors hurt my hand. <laughs> By blue, singer, pianist, and composer. Another step in a set. Good, good, by good, there, for the reset. Preacher's wife thing is full time, but I don't get paid. It's kind of just what I do. It's my calling. It's who I am. But I think over the last two days, God gave me the word that yesterday was my day of rest, where I was at the college, and today is my day of work, where I'm doing the preacher's wife thing. So I think He's trying to say that like real work is the work we do for the kingdom, and everything else is what we just we do on the side. I think work is defined by what we're doing for Him, not the tedious things we're doing throughout the day. So today ended up being a work day, which I was warned about, and um, it just got me to thinking that like, what, I think he's, I think God's shifting what I think is work. I put expectations on myself as to what work is, and I feel like when we're doing the preacher stuff that... It feels like we're having fun, it feels like it's not work, and I feel less, I feel like I'm not doing as much, or that maybe people are looking down on me because this is my job, but <clears throat> I've just been learning that like God's opinion is the only one that matters, and if he feels like this is work, and he feels like we're being productive in his name, then I'm happy about that. That's good. I don't want to talk about work. Okay, what do you want, what did God tell you today? I want to talk about not letting your flesh or your mind, will, and emotions lead you, but instead let your spirit, which is in communion with your Holy Spirit, lead you. Your Holy, His Holy Spirit. <laughs> Whoops. His Holy Spirit leads you. I think that's where a lot of our breakdown is. I think, obviously, I'm a bigger guy, and I like to baby the flesh a little bit, because if things get tough, or when I'm working out, I stop whenever it gets... Whenever it gets tough, whenever my body's like, you can't go any further, this hurts, it's too heavy, or you've been running for too long. And so I back off of it. Or when it says, I'm hungry, I'm hungry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it says, trust me, my body's like, you're hungry, dude. Let's go, let's go eat something. Uh, my flesh, my body, which should be the lowest member, it should be subservient to what my mind, will, and emotions says, sometimes takes center stage and it, it leads me to a very unhealthy place. Well, yeah, that's just one example. You could be an emotional-based person where you let your emotions lead and the way you feel is the way that things actually are, the way your reality is set. So if you feel happy, then you're in a happy place. But you could be sad the next moment and be in a super sad, depressed place and that is king in your life. And what God was showing me this morning was whenever our spirit is rightfully set on the throne, rightfully set on the throne of our being, and we are yielded to His Holy Spirit, who's actually in charge. And what He says our spirit is in agreement with, naturally, because we're sons and daughters of the Most High God, that part's set up for us. And then our mind, will, and emotions. So our mind, our emotions, our, you know, just our desire to do things is in agreement with our spirit, and it makes our body come into alignment 
Everything's just, it works. That's what I learned this morning. Oh, well, first of all, that song I said about Walmart apparently is not a song. I guess I made that one up. So that's my song. I copyright it. You can't have it. Walmart, there's a smile on every aisle. Bien. Another.